All right, guys, we're doing a 2017-18 uh, Flawless Basketball Random Players Box. This is Random Players Box number two. We're going to pull the uh, box from a fresh case. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the case now to reveal the two uh, suitcases, or two briefcases. From there, we'll roll a die to determine not only which uh, briefcase we'll use, but how many times we're going to randomize the list of participants and players. All right. So if we roll odd, we'll do the case on the top, even case on the bottom. Uh, the case that is not selected uh, will be held aside for a future break as yet to be determined. So we won't be marking it specifically for another break. Here we go. Good luck. All right, guys. Three times on the draw. We're going to use the case here on the top. So the case here on the bottom will set aside. All right. Uh, starting with our participants, uh, a lot of you guys made your way in, uh, fifth, uh, I think it was 20 participants made their way into the break via, the, um, via recent Mega Filler, Mega Fillers. Uh, those uh, random players' uh, break spots were, uh, or blocks were four, uh, four, four spots. Uh, 7G Mojo at the top. At the bottom, I got uh, R. Wilburn, 8880. Three times on the draw. Best of luck to all of you. Here we go. One. Two and three. All right, R. Wilburn at the top. At the bottom is one Jim Oz. Okay. Uh, On to your players. Uh, Zadrina Silgalskis at the bottom. Scrolling up to the top, we have uh, AC Green at the top. Three times. Good luck to all of you. Here we go. One. Two and three. All right, Willie Cauley Stein at the top. JJ Berea at the bottom. All right, and I'm going to sort you guys by participant. All right, from one to 36, Benedict to uh, seven Mojo. And I'm going to go ahead and do this. Let me copy all your names here. I'm going to paste this into the results tab on our website. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that screen for just a moment while I do that. All right. Uh, all right. So we have that break now uploaded to the site under our results tab. I'll go ahead and link the. Um, I'll link the for you in your chats in just a moment. Uh, from thirty-seven to seventy-two, uh, Annie Matthews, the card syndrome. There's more card syndrome beneath that. In fact, just one more. All right, that's the link for the results. There we go. All right, from uh, 73 to 99, uh, Elastic Card Syndrome to Dennis 75. That's all of Dennis 75. He just got. Um, he just got GTS. Then. Oh, who better than oh, oh, me? I came here. Well, hey, there's one other one. Gold River came here. There's, I know we're pitched there. Which state more have a chance? This guy's played. Yeah, he's gonna get the cases easy. Yeah, well, I know. We well, should have to be tested. Oh, minimum. This is something you should have. Yeah. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's gonna keep selling. Uh, from 109 to 144. Crazy. 
Uh, DJ Foley to Houdini. Immaculate College was nice product. I, I won't lie. Immaculate College football was very, very nice product. For me personally, I hope next year with basketball, they, they keep the contenders draft, but then at the second college product, they do uh, Immaculate instead of Flawless. Seems like every year, flawless college basketball is the only flawless that kind of falls flat. At least that's what at least that's what I see. All right, from uh, one forty-five to one eighty. Uh, and send collectibles to JT Sports Cards. Elements football was sneaky. It was, it was like I wasn't I wasn't so sure about uh, elements football, but I remember that was the week in the national. And Chad calls me. He goes, "Everybody's raving about this elements football. How good it is?" And you know what? It was it was solid. Oh yeah, Zion Williamson. I'm I, even. I'm thinking about putting away some contenders draft for myself <laughs> next year. Yeah, it's going to be an insane class. Uh, Ken Barnes to Sakura and Skull. There's more Sakura behind that one. Contenders draft will be insane next year with Zion Williamson, in my opinion. Don't th doesn't Duke have like three players that can conceivably, like in a perfect world, would go top three picks? All Duke. <laughs> I would say. Realistically, probably three in the first five or six picks, but... Alright, and... Alright, from 217 to 252, so the rest is secure in Skull. There's more Tony Barkey behind that. Yeah, it would be a, uh, right the way they're talking about Duke, and I know that they lost a, the one loss that they have was a tough loss to Gonzaga, and Gonzaga is an excellent team. But um, they're talking like if Duke doesn't win the national championship this year, the season would be a failure. All right, and I'm just going to scroll to 266 here. Uh, the rest of Tony Barkey to Zek Man. Give you guys just another moment to look at those names. Oh. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to put you back in order by player name here. All right.
All right, guys. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we got in this box. Somebody's going to be really happy with some of these hits. You know, this is the first time in, uh, see, it's now 2.30 in the afternoon, so I've been on for six and a half hours. First time I have to use any thick sleeves. <laughs> We've been open nothing but Bowman Draft and uh, Revolution all day. And then we had the um, and we had the one case of Dynasty, which didn't require any sleeves. So, Okay. All right, guys, starting off with a uh, dual patch card for the Chicago Bulls, Richard Hamilton. This one's number 10 out of 10. Uh, Richard Hamilton. Going to Risker. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just put uh, post-its on these so I don't have to worry about printing out a list. There we go. All right, next up, we got a jumbo patch number to 15, a Larry Bird. Five out of 15. Uh, Larry Bird. Going to S. Murphy 025. All right, next up, autograph number to 15 of Avery Johnson. Honored numbers. That one's serial number 13 of 15. Uh, Avery Johnson going the way of... There he is. Hello to Kings. There you go, Tom. All right, we're going to follow that up with the Momentous Autographs, number 10 of Calvin Murphy. Number 10 out of 10. Calvin Murphy belongs to Cassie John. All right. All right, Distinguished Signatures, Julius Irving, number 5 out of 15. Very nice. Let's see, Julius Irving, where's he at? There he is. Sakura and Skull. A tiny little ding there on the bottom right corner, just so you're aware. All right, next up we got a patch autograph of Carl Malone. Uh, uh, Carl Malone, uh, Utah Jazz, 5 out of 10. Uh, Carl Malone going to Tommy B. All right, we got flawless autographs. Gail Goodrich. This one's serial number 21 to 25. <clears throat> uh, Gail Goodrich going to S. Murphy 025. All right, and, uh, last non-slab card is a patch auto of Miles Turner, the Indiana Pacers, number 10 out of 10. Uh, Miles Turner. 
There it is, 7G Mojo. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here for our uh, slabbed items. All right. Here's your diamond card. It's a double diamond. LeBron James. Wow. Number two out of ten. That's a nice one right there. LeBron James belongs to J. Griff 182. <laughs> Send it. Indeed. Good stuff. All right, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me uh, highlight that in green, since it's a slab one. There we go. All right, and uh, our last hit, the uh, slab auto. Let's get rid of this over here. All right. Good luck, everybody. Winning time with distinguished signatures. Reggie Miller, number 10 out of, or 11 out of 15, the Indiana Pacers. Let's see, Reggie Miller. There he is, 7G Mojo. Congrats. I'll highlight that one in blue. There you go. All right, guys, I'll do it for the draw, or I'll do it for the break. Let's do the draw for the briefcase. Uh, three times on draw. Uh, the uh, participant top of the list will get it unless it's an international customer. We'll keep working down the list till we get somebody we can send to. Here we go. One, two, three, and three. All right, Cassie Johns International. Um, I'm going to send to uh, CNC World. All right, thank you guys for watching and joining. Congrats again to the lucky hitters. Until next one.